The new governor of the Bank of Japan has taken aggressive steps to end two decades of economic stagnation. Haruhiko Kuroda on Thursday pledged unprecedented easing. This is a sure sign he is willing to spend heavily to get the world's third largest economy out of a long and debilitating stump. The bank said that it would increase its purchase of government bonds by $520 billion a year. Now, this is the equivalent of almost 10% of Japan's annual gross domestic product. The bank added that it would buy longer-term government bonds as well as riskier assets. And according to the bank governor, getting the country out of deflation is a top priority. The Bank of Japan has decided to aim for monetary easing, both in terms of quantity and quality, to double the money supply and achieve a 2% inflation target at the earliest possible time, within about two years. Now, the Bank of Japan joins the U.S. Federal Reserve and other major central banks in hoping that an injection of cash into the economy will help bring a moribund economy back to life. But is it going to work? Let's go live to Washington. We're joined by Dr. Alexander Mutchev from the Krull Corporation Consultancy. Well, is it going to work, do you think, Dr. Mutchev? Uh, actually, the, the key word in your question, excellent question, it's moribund. The economy is moribund, so if we start from there, uh, I think that's already working. Uh, this should be viewed more as a bold policy statement, bold political statement, rather than a set of policies that still need to be tested and to see how they are practically going to be implemented and what they are going to mean. But in general, it's already working by the virtue of providing a new bold, new direction of thinking in Japan and the perception of the world what is going to happen, at least according to the new government in the new uh, governor of the Bank of Japan. But yeah. where you call it, the, the money has got to get down to the grassroots, down to the level of small businesses, down to the level of the consumer. And historically that, well, it's, it's a very blunt instrument. It doesn't get there very easily, does it? No. <laughs> historically is the key word again. Uh, I don't think it's going to work, at least in a way that is expected. However, the very fact, as you've seen today, this bolt move moved the markets. Of course, they quickly rebound. But at the end of the day, this at least signals that Japan is willing and ready to try to re-enter the game and to uh, get its uh, uh, natural position in the Asian economy and the world economy. So from that perspective, uh, they have no other choices. But uh, 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 to answer your question, uh, one has a serious doubt whether this is going to be feasible on a, a long run. The other thing that the Bank of Japan said was it's going to target money supply much in a much more concentrated way. This is going back, I presume, really to the 1980s, isn't it, when, when money supply was the big target. That's what people looked at as being the big indicator, the most important thing to go after. Is, it, is that a retrograde step, or, or, or do you think that's a useful thing to be doing now? Just go for that. Forget about inflation, forget uh, about unemployment, whatever. Uh, I think it's useful, uh, simply because there is, as you know very well, there are not that many policy tools that could be tried under the circumstances. And uh, better to do something rather than to continue to sleep in the direction that we already have seen. So in that way, I would uh, rather see them moving boldly ahead uh, rather than continue to try the policies that definitely have never worked. As far as the 80s, as you know, nobody seriously implemented this. So we'll see how the political will is going to work this time and to what extent that could sustain because frankly these policies and let's not forget this part of a broader package a lot of the the, the issues that has been included in these three pronged strategies are going to be not that easy to implement and to swallow by the political class in Japan as well as the society as a whole uh, not to mention the international reaction to all this if 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 we see this kind of policy being taken up by Japan and by other economies, obviously by the US, possibly by Europe, say six, nine months down the road. Do you think, I mean, it may seem an odd question to ask in a period of virtual deflation, but do you think two years down the line we're going to have serious inflation because of the amount of money that's swilling around the Oh, I, I, absolutely. Uh, actually, uh, I was looking at my notes and uh, one always do this during the pauses. <laughs> so uh, uh, I think that the key here is the exit strategy. At the end of the day, they need to signal to the markets that where they want to go, but how far they want to go, and what kind of a set of policies they're going to implement so 
to stop the natural slide because frankly this is uh, untested road for them and it's quite dangerous and at the end of the day inflation could uh, uh, frankly kill them. Okay. So uh, at the end of the day uh, I think that part of the measure should be a bold clear exit strategy. Dr. Alexander Berchev, thank you very much indeed for joining us.